let's uh, go to the Chelsea Arsenal game, uh, Liam. It was amazing in many ways because both defenses were so poor. Uh, chances of scoring goals came very easily, and it looked as if Chelsea, having gone two 0 could score as many as they want. But Arsenal came back at them. Um, as an Arsenal man. Uh, what did you make of the performance they lost in the end uh, where is Emery going what's he got to do and some of the players they've got Liam don't look as if their heart is in it well you know, you've got you got a defence that's simply not good enough um, you've got two central defenders Mustafi we've seen for the last couple of seasons is not really up to the level of, of, of finishing uh, of being a player that can you know, bring his team top four finish. Uh, the lad they bought with him, Socrates uh, from uh, from Dortmund, uh, looks a bit similar to him. Um, I don't think they have a relationship so far. And you would have thought, you know, the the manager Embry, who are having those players for the amount of time he's had. Uh, because those players went at the World Cup, they were uh, working together for the last four or five weeks. You would have thought they'd have some kind of understanding, but they were all over the place. One was pushing forward, the other one was dropping back, uh, and it really was uh, a dreadful performance by the central uh, central defenders. As bad as as bad as the United defenders were the next day at Brighton. Yeah. Uh, so that that that's alarming. That's alarming. Uh, the fact we came back, I think, all, uh, to, all, all, it, it came down to one good thing that we we looked to be getting the ball earlier into the box. You know, under Arsene Wenger, you could get in good crossing positions and you could turn back, and uh, you know the game was slow and so forth. But um, in this case, when they got into wide areas, they got the ball in their box and caused Chelsea enormous problems. And they had four or five really, really decent chances. You know, Aubameyang should have had at least two goals. Yep. So that that was good. That was good. Uh, but the other thing that was good was maybe the substitutions he made. He got Xhaka off at halftime, who I thought was useless. Um, and, you know, is a player that uh, he... he, he he, he continues to annoy me. He he gets booked most games. He's lazy. He doesn't close down. He doesn't go with runners. Um, and it was good to see him getting substituted. And the, also the other thing was good to see Ozil getting substituted. What was it? Fifteen minutes from the end. Like yeah. Arsene Wenger would never do that unless the game was finished in Arsenal's favour. He was two or three up. He might give Ozil the last ten minutes, but uh, where he would take him off. But this time. No, he was taken off because he wasn't doing it either defensively or when he had the ball. So I thought those things were good pointers. Uh, but you know, let's let's be fair. The defence was really, really terrible. And Arsenal, like I told you at the start of the season, Eamon, it's a real worry for Arsenal fans because Emery might be a new coach, but I'm afraid I'm afraid the players are the same. Yeah. 